Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Pancho and recording again a broken lost play for Snatch tutorial. This time it is going to be longer because I'm in a much 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 better mood. You may ask why? Well because the sun has just recently hidden itself behind the clouds. I cannot see it. It's not it's shining obviously that it is bright in this room, but it's not as bright as it was if the sun was just shining brightly without any clouds. So I'm super happy. I hate when there is the sun kind of blinding away. Blinding away. That sounds kind of creepy. But you know what I mean. Either way, I cannot see the sun and I'm very happy as a result. Not only can I now see my monitor, but also my eyes do not bleed because they are kind of sensitive to light for some reason. Anyway, let's not talk about random BS. Let us instead focus on the game right now. So I'm in a little bit of a tricky situation. If you remember when I last ended my video, I had an army over here. Don't worry, it's still here. I just moved it back into town when I realized I didn't start recording yet. It happens, it happens, nothing other than that really happened, but there's quite a lot of necrodons near my city and I have seen some more nearby as well, which is very bad because it means that if the necrodons were to attack my units, right, then the other necrodons would join the battle to assist, so in total I would have to fight like 8 necrodons or something with my 4 stouts. Four stalwarts could theoretically be okay against four necrodons. Actually, no, 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 no. Necrodons are far too superior to stalwarts. Even though the AI right now doesn't use equipment, necrodons are still pretty scary. They, they are. There is no question about that. So I've got a plan, a conting uh, contingency plan, in fact. What I need is a tougher units, b better equipment in order to fight the necrophages and the necrodons. So what I need to do is see if the Kazan G are interested in giving me a good quest. Even if they are not, I can bribe them to join me immediately and then I'll have the demons to record. And demons are very powerful. I want to take demons over Necrodons in fact. Yes, they are not nearly as fast as the Necrodons on the battlefield, but other than that they are very very beefy. So with that said, I'll use the star that has full movement, that is this one, he was not part of the original army, and I'll send him to the village to go ahead and try and snatch me a quest. Meanwhile, Jalastio is going to need a little bit more forces, however, I want to save my dust just in case I will be able to buy out some demons, so I'm not going to spend it. I mean, maybe the Barrel Streets is not a very bad idea, it would give me a bit more sight, and more income in general, so I think I'm going to buy out the Barrel Streets. It's not a very bad idea. Any other city that needs my attention, not at the moment. Ralster, I'm worried about, but I'm not quite willing to buy out anything in it right now, just because I'm... S if this AI was any better, I would have lost the city already, and I don't want to really make anything in it as a result, because you never know, the AI might m wake up yet and actually try and take over the city. It might happen, so let's be very careful about this. In terms of tech, well, as soon as I'm done with open pit mines, which I do want and or need, actually just, just end, no or, then I'll probably try to go for, well, first things first, I will need the meritocratic promotion for bigger armies, but... It is actually less important because I can just go for reinforcements and from what I've seen, the enemy AI is only using 4 troops in a, each individual army thus far. So what I need more are better weapons and or dust bishops. In fact, I would probably go for dust bishops first just to show how awesome they are in a video. Anyway, let's end this particular turn. I keep saying this particular turn. Man, it has to be like one of the, my most used phases in my Endless Legend series. That includes all the videos. And that is a lot of Necrodrones flying in all directions, but they stop the siege for some reason. It sometimes happens. When you reload again, sometimes AI just randomly stops the siege that they could easily continue. Keep in mind, alpha is alpha, things like that do happen. It will be undoubtedly improved, so we don't need to worry about that. Alright, let's have a quick look what the que what is the quest that those guys are going to give us. They want us to destroy our sisters of Mayas village. In return, they will give us 180 60 dust. Now, this is actually kind of cool. And the reason why I say this is because when you go into this quest, you will find out that there is also a second stage to it. And last time I got a quest to destroy a sisters of Mercy village, the second stage actually gave me the weapons. So, I'm not saying I'm going to get the weapons again, although it would be an interesting coincidence. However, I would say that it is still worthwhile to finish this quest. Now, as for this one, I'm still obviously going to try and finish it ASAP, so 12 technologies, I should reach it on the next 10, so it will be alright. Anyway, where are the Sisters of Mercy? I actually didn't notice, didn't read, I mean... 
Harail. Do I see any Harails nearby? Mm, no, 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 no. Yes, the assistance of Messi in this region, which is very bad. I oh no 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 no. I don't want you to move over there. So I, but I, actually I do. Actually I do. I'll probably stumble upon some Necker drones, but maybe I'll be able to sneak past them. Actually, this is the village right here. Oh, okay then. Well, in this case, I'll go back to town, assemble my armies and see what I can do about this whole affair. I definitely do not want to bribe those demons into joining me, because then I will not be able to fulfill my quest, I'm pretty sure. And I want to fulfill it, because you never know, I might get something awesome. So, let us think about this. First things first, I probably need a hero, some kind of a warmonger hero that can help me on the battlefield. And archer is probably a good idea, because archers are very effective against melee units. So let's have a quick look at high protector. She gives me extra attack and defense on army. Fairly nice, fairly nice, I'm not gonna lie. Quite a nice amount of attack, although not as much as anybody else's. And the critical damage is also not that amazing. So let's have a quick look at the next few heroes. This one. Uh, obviously, right now many of those icons are price holders. They'll have different icons and whatnot. Alright, this hero on the other hand... <coughs> Just gives me a critical bonus on army, so not as useful. She's better on her own, but I would rather get a better bonus eye, better bonus eye on my entire army. This gal really gives me all kinds of bonuses on army. This is sick. She's also on level 3 instead of 4, so I can level her up in further as well. I wish I could inspect heroes. Actually, wait, I can. Alright, so what does she have? She's got Indiana Bones on level 1 and that's it, she doesn't have anything else. So I can immediately make her give me more XP, or I can just go for the standard, so more movement speed, which is nice, or more other things. Does she have any equipment? No, I can equip her by myself, so that's fine. So she's interesting, I'm not gonna lie. And the next one is similar, but not as good as the first one. Uh, she's just flat out worse, the way I see it. Alright, so I'm, don't, I'm not really going to consider her. And Warrior Sigo. What are you? Progressive boost industry? And something that is not implemented yet. Nope. Yeah, I'm not going to hire you. And last but not by no means least, Empty Belly. He's infantry though, so I'm not too happy about him. And most Neko Fighters here do not have abilities implemented yet. So as you can see, this guy just has nothing. He's got a lot of life and whatnot, and a lot of damage. And all, all around, his stats are better than anybody else's. But I do want somebody to attack from range. And uh, I'm sorry, but this girl, she gives me a lot of bonuses all around. Or maybe it's him, but he doesn't have upgraded, updated icon. Whatever, I'm still going to buy this guy. So I'll buy him, I'll assign him to this particular army. I keep him particular. Stop it, stop it, brain. And I'm also going to buy out as many Star Wars as I possibly can. But before I do that... My hero needs to be equipped with the very best equipment I can find. So, I do have some special ammo I got from quests, I assume. So, Snowwalker Striders and Knees of the Golem. Alright, sounds fancy, except it's not that impressive. First things first, I do want a bow. Bow is just more powerful than crossbow. Obviously, crossbow would allow you to actually use a shield, but I want a bow. Alternatively, I can go for Mega Wand. Now, I'm pretty sure that Mega Wands graphical effects are not implemented yet, at least they were not last time I tried using Mega Wands, so... I will just go for a bow, thank you very much. Because it looks awesome and it's nice seeing this guy just fire one arrow and destroy an entire stack of this arrow. It's kinda cool, I have to say. Now, do I want to give him any ammo whatsoever? No, but it would lower my initiative and I want my initiative to be high. Then again, I do not have enough units to body block this hero, so I may need this hero to have better ammo just to survive for a little bit longer. Also, it looks like I cannot unequip some of the ammo. Strange, maybe you cannot unequip ammo from those heroes, but I swear I did it before. Huh, maybe it's something to change, maybe it's a bug, it doesn't really matter all that much. So, I can go for tier 1 special ally with armors, which would increase my stats and not lower my initiative, which is nice. I can go for a higher tier thingy, which would just be flat out wars, but not cost any special alloys. Or I can go for quest items, so extra 3 defense or extra 2 defense and 4 life. Eh, interesting. Interesting indeed, let's go for extra life. Or let's not actually, because I don't have any glass tier. Alright, do I have titanium? I should have titanium, yes I do indeed. So there's that, let's go for higher tier armor, because it's just flat out better than lower tier armor in every way, shape and form. As I said, I'm also going to obviously go for a bow, because this bow is just flat out better. Now, do, do I also want to go for alloys? 
I'm going for allies with Cosmic Titanium, but at the same time, I would not lose my initiative, which I want to remain relatively high. At the same time, though, I think... Do you want this initiative to be high? No, I want the enemy's initiative to be higher, so the enemy walks closer to me, and then I can attack him, but then again, it will probably be me who's going to lead the charge. I think there are no wrong answers here, so I'm just going to equip this here with the very best thing I can find. And in this case, I just want to go for extra damage. So let's do something like this. I don't have the titanium for it, I don't have the glass steel either. So this kind of combo will do, I guess. A bit of titanium armor and nothing other than that that is any special. Good, alright. So that went, uh, that cost me a bit of death, but my hero is now a bit more powerful. I can assign her to this army, which I will gladly do. Now I've got somebody range in this army, which will be very useful. Let's heal up my units as well. Why not? And then let's buy out as many towers as I can, and then I actually cannot do this. So since this city is going to be the place where I'll make my Star Wars. I'll increase the production and capability of this city. Obviously, I want to finish the gas to extractor since I might as well. I'm almost done. And all my other cities should continue working on that, which is exactly what they are doing. That's very, very good. This is exactly what I want them to be doing. In fact, this city, I kind of want to give it another population, but I'm lucky in this regard. Dust Dredger, I don't need. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm good. I could move this army somewhere. I don't really want to do this. I'm, in fact, only going to move it back so that if somebody attacks me, I'll have this guy as my reinforcement. So that's a little bit of a something. Because I'm afraid of those naked drones. They are scary. They are much scary. They can, if they wanted to, they could take over my city and probably the other city as well. I would be able to hold on to my newly conquered main city, what used to be the other faction's main city. Yes, but under that, that would be fairly scary. All right, got my tech. Quest is completed. I have the equivalent circuit. Circlet. I think I had it already, didn't I? Oh no, no, no! I just told, showed you how awesome it is. I think. All right. So this is a new state of the quest. Again, you know the deal. If you want, you can read it out. I think I said it before. I really like the Broken Lords storyline. It's very interesting. Kind of nice. Filled with despair, grey areas, no good right answers and whatnot, so that's nice. And as I can see, there is my quest, I need to colonize an area of at least 30 dust at the start, which is difficult. And I get Dust Crematorium in return, which is right now useless, unfortunately, but still I want to fulfill this quest. So, two cities under siege, one by the Mad Fairies, also known as Wild Walkers, and one by Broncolots. Fortunately, this area has not been colonized yet, so I can fulfill my quest, hopefully. And even if somebody colonizes it, I can just burn, ban their cities and then settle. Which is a suboptimal sub way of doing things, but it's something I can do regardless. Anyway, what quest do I want to go for next? I will need watchtowers in order to fulfill my faction quest in the future. So I know that for a fact, but what I need even more, because it's awesome, are the dust bishops. So let's start working on those guys, they are, as I said, amazing. Now, do I want to save my southern city and clear a path for my settlers to go south? Possibly. Or do I want to save Raster, the second one, because in normal game those guys would probably take over Raster already. And I want to at least try and simulate main game as much as possible, so let's buy out Star Wars. Let's start with, with the ones that cost me the most, so that's two extra Star Wars, fairly nice. You walk over here, I'm not going to wait for this guy though, so let's walk over here. And I should have a sizable little army to go ahead and attack the enemy with. I also started like, sacking glass steel and titanium, so this will be extra equipment for my hero once I have the dust and the other means necessary for me to do this. Also, I can finally harvest wine, and I will gladly do just that. And I can also go for Center for Seas, Air and Rivers for some extra science on those water tiles, or rather this water tile. It's still a water tile that will give me more science, so by all means, I will go for it. Let us end this particular turn, and actually I forgot to check, is this city supposed to be content? Yes, it is, because I have a sewer system. Very nice, alright. Nothing to be worried about as of yet. And, oh, come on, now, now, the sun is shining bright again. Nah, I can feel my mood just going down on the food happiness meter. It's just, nah, sun, don't like it. Mostly because my eyes don't like it, but I just don't like it in general. I mean, I'm glad that it's there, I'm glad that it's shining away, allowing all of us to live, don't get me wrong. But uh, does it really have to be such an exhibitionist? Exhibitionist? Whatever his name is, does it have to be in front of our eyes every time? I mean, it can't just be always behind the clouds. I mean, what would be the harm in that? There would still be some sun left, right? It would be good enough, right? Uh, maybe it's just me. I do like the sunsets. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Sunsets are nice. And that's about it. So, yeah, I cannot say much more that is good about the sun. Sorry, I'm a little bit of a racist when it comes to stars. 
Apparently you can be a racist when it comes to stars, whatever. Alright, first things first, reinforce my main army, since this is correctly be the army that will join the battle first. It needs to be as strong as humanly possible. And the other guys, well, you just join this guy and start walking behind my main army to reinforce it whenever possible. Let's end the turn and see what the enemy AI is going to plan to do. I wouldn't be surprised if they tried to attack me and, more, uh, to be more specific, my weaker army because AI is annoying like this. Hopefully they will not, but they might do it. No, no, they attack my main army. Good, but look at the amount of reinforcements they're gonna get. Wow. My hero needs to do wonders today. Because if she doesn't, or he doesn't, I don't know what his sex is, or her, then I'll be in a little bit of trouble. But Wild Walker's hero are very, very good counter to Necrodrons, as you have probably noticed in the past. Obviously, I want to fight with high ground advantage, so dear sir, please walk to the high ground. And everybody else, protect the hero at all costs. Not, do not let any Necrodon walk through and I'll stand on my ground and this is actually something I have to click individually because I didn't do so yet. Good job on me. Alright, you, all of you guys, hold your ground. Do not move at all. And actually there's a little bit of a problem. I just noticed the enemy will have the high ground advantage on me if I stand where I stand. So I probably want to move forwards a little bit. How much is a little bit though? Well, I need to move quite a bit if I don't want the enemy to have the high ground advantage. And I also know that the enemy will have some reinforcements, which is even worse. So, let us actually charge in as much as possible. Wait, who is this guy? This guy is over this there. So you, walk over there if possible. If not, then actually... I don't trust this guy to, make, to run over there and stop where he needs to stop. I think he would normally stop over here if I had to let him run. So, I'll just tell her to walk over here. It's not the best spot, but it is a spot. So, let's go over there. You do, sir. You walk over to this hill, high ground. And now the enemy should not have the high ground defensive bonus on me. You will also walk to the high ground so you can deal more damage to the enemy. And uh, as for the rest of you, you just protect my flanks. Because I don't trust the enemy to actually, you know, protect them. In fact, you guys may actually be aggressive. I'll have the other four guys to hold the front line and the two other guys to actually walk around the battlefield and try to snap off the enemy and make sure that they block the enemy whenever possible. Thankfully I have better initiative as a result of my hero giving me an initiative bonus to my entire army. So this allowed me to go for some pretty nice creative, not creative, but just good in general battle formation. And so my hero is going to walk forward, hopefully eliminate this stack of enemy units. Not quite, that was fairly close, but no cigar, unfortunately, that's not the kind of shot that gives you a gold prize on the shooting Olympics. And uh, only getting a little bit of help from this death. Could have been better. I'm probably going to lose those guys now on the next attack by the enemy. But at least one of the enemy stacks is down now, so that's at the very least something. But if the enemy wants to go through one of my stacks that is already damaged and attack my hero, then they can easily do that. My hero is now barely protected at all. But this is why those two guys have... Uh, Free hands, they can walk wherever they want, so they can attack whoever they want and stay in what, whichever tower they want to. But my hero is exposed already, and if the enemy was smarter, they would probably attack him. Or her. Thankfully, they are not that smart, so this is at the very least something. Now, my hero can eliminate the enemy stack quite easily, and actually, she'll fail to do that. Apparently, two to bow made of iron is not all that impressive. Uh, I got used to having tier 3 titanium weapons. <laughs> I really wish I can get this, but I can show you those weapons. I could also load up a save file just to show you how awesome those weapons are. If I and if I do not find the appropriate quest, then in fact I will do just that. But hopefully I can find a quest to show you the awesomeness of those weapons in this particular playthrough. I said particular again. Why? Oh whatever. Anyway, I healed my fully full health unit, so that was not entirely helpful. And now it is going to suffer some severe damage. The enemy Nicodons keep just spamming away at my units. And more are approaching. I think I'm going to lose this fight. So that's not the best. Alright, you reset. You go ahead and walk over there. Yes, I mean it. Walk over there. Try to protect my hero if at all possible. Everybody else, just hold your ground. And see if you can survive for a little while. Now, do I want to focus far on anybody? Who's got the first turn? You've got the first turn. So they will damage this guy, but not kill him, probably. And I do want to finish off a unit that tries to kill me. So let's kill this guy. I I'm almost certain by now that I'm going to lose this fight. But I will make the enemy pay for every soldier they killed. So that is something. My hero will need revival, but it is not going to be a very big deal. Enemy unit dead. 
my unit is going to go down as well. I am left with one stout and one hero. My hero obviously is not going to survive for a very long time at all. But thankfully the enemy is right now focusing on my stouts. If I can kill one more guy, then my heroes, then my army will heal up and stay alive for a little bit longer. But I do not perceive this to be something that is actually achievable because now my guys are going to charge forward at the enemy and all valiantly die. Which is not brilliant, I'm not gonna lie, but another enemy falls. So two Necrodons are going to stay alive and my hero is going to fall down right now. There's no doubt about that in my mind. The enemy can just out damage me very very easily and kill my hero in just two swipes. Very nice battle, I have to say though. AI behaved like I expected it to, so there were no unpleasant surprises. And I was able to kill quite a lot of the enemy army. Two Necrodons still alive, one is slightly damaged. That's okay. My hero is obviously highly injured. So it's he is she's disabled for 20 dance. So this is not optimal. But the enemy army has taken some severe casualties. So what I need to do now is just oop, I need to just buy out as many stouts as I can, which apparently is two. I may reinforce them with stouts from this area, but they are besieged, so that's not a possibility. I could make stouts over here, but I can't. So that's a little bit of a bummer, isn't it? The enemy still has a siege on my main city as well. Things are not going particularly well, but they are not going particularly bad either. I've got a very small amount of dust income right now. On 1050, as a broken lot, you want to have a bit more dust gain. I mean, less than a 200 is pretty bad. The enemy demons are now in the area, so they may want to attack me, which is very annoying, because if they do attack me and not the Necrodons, then this will be, quite frankly, very annoying. <laughs> But hey, it happens. It's actually how my factories are meant to work, so it's I'm fine with that. Either way, I'm afraid of sending just two Star Wars alone. I know that the enemy Nocturne is damaged, but if there is anybody else nearby, then those Star Wars are simply going to die. So let's wait for one other Star Wars to reinforce those poor guys and uh, end the tenders and much else I can do. I'm in a little bit of trouble, I'm not gonna lie about that, but once again, the access to death bishops, I should be in a much better position. I'm basically stalling for time right now, and since AI doesn't know how to stop me from stalling on for time, I can just do it quite easily. What are you doing? Showing off that you have wings? Oh, you don't anymore. And now you do. How fancy. Alright, do I want more stalwarts? Yes, pretty much, undoubtedly yes. I need to have a full army before I dare to walk anywhere else. And then I'll start making Dust Bishops, because Dust Bishops are purely amazing and they can make your army almost invincible. Now, there are two variants in which you can use uh, Dust Bishops. The first variant is an interesting one, because you can make them a semi-melee unit. What do I mean by that? They are not melee units, they can attack only from the distance, but if you make them walk in front of your army, then that's very beneficial, because each time they attack, they heal all adjacent allies, right? So if they are on the front lines and they attack, then they heal everybody else who is on the front line. Alternatively, they, you can just use them as kind of a sniper, so they can stand behind your front lines, attack from range, heal up who is next to them, which is going to be probably less units than in the first variant, but they are still going to heal somebody and they can deal quite a nice amount of damage. I'm pretty sure they cannot heal themselves, at least I haven't seen any proof of that, but they can still heal adjacent allies, so that's fairly nice. Also, they can pack a punch, they really can. Alright. What is the next technology I want? Bigger armies, possibly. I still don't want to go for better weapons or anything because I might get that from the faction quest. That also includes accessories, so I'm not gonna go for them. I might go for watchtowers. They are not entirely useful, but this would allow me to complete my next faction quest very, very quickly. So I think I might go for that. From what I know, mercenaries doesn't give you any mercenaries. To access right now, it's fairly annoying. They used to give you a lot of things to buy out. Right now, you cannot buy out anything. Mildly infuriating, but hey, I'll go with that. Or I could go for more production. Hmm. Well, I guess. I don't know. I will need that anyway. I will need watch hours anyway, so let's go for watch hours for the time being. It's not the best choice, but it's a choice. So let's create this army. 
and start walking north if I can. I'll probably want to either break the siege or finish my faction quest. I'll try finishing the faction quest first because I'm on the clock. If the enemy kills the Kazandri village, then I fail the quest immediately. So I don't have a lot of time. Meanwhile, that's bishops. I definitely do want to retrofit them with whatever I can. So look at those guys. They look pimp, don't they? Oh, yes, they do. Oh, yes, they do. So what do I give them? The very best things I can, which right now is not that amazing, but it is something. So I can give them the best armor that does not use any special alloys. Or I can give them something that is from the previous era, but does use some special alloys. Which is probably what I want to do. I want those guys to have better initiative, in fact, because here's my reasoning. You can either have those guys with the lowest initiative, so they can heal them, the people of in, uh, your people that has been that have been damaged in your battle already, or you can give them the very high initiative. So, can, so if you enter a battle with somebody who's already damaged, you can heal him at the start of the battle, and then he will be full health. And then on the next 10 turns of the battle, you can also heal on the first turn. I mean, as soon as possible, so this is also probably a very good idea. So let's do just that. Let's do that. Let's go for better initiative. And let's keep those guys behind my lines. I think it's a good idea. It will cost me a lot of the, uh, glass steel, but I have enough glass steel to spare, thankfully. Now, what kind of weapon do I want to go for? I can either go for a long scepter, which is going to increase my attack, but lower my initiative, which is all okay, because I gain a lot of initiative from glass steel. Or I can go for something that lowers my initiative by a lot, uh, but it gives me more critical chance. Honestly, with those guys, I don't care about critical chance, because criticals will not increase the amount of health I heal. So, I would rather just go for Lung Scepters. You're not menacing them out on anything, by the way. Mega ones and Lung Scepters right now work in the exact same way on those guys. This is something that I assume will be fixed later. At least that, that's what I was led to believe uh, by the devs. So, yeah, Star Wars, you are nice and all, but I want to focus on Death Bishops from now on. So, thank you very much. I guess I will buy out this guy. Might as well, he's almost done, but anybody else? Nope. Alright. I've got a Star Wars protecting my main city. Very nice. Not like I care, but very nice. Let's go for a center for sea and whatever fishes or something. You just continue doing what you're doing, which is nothing important, I assume. And my army is done with its movement, so let's end, that, end this turn. See what the enemy armies are going to do. Maybe they'll attack me, maybe they will not. I can assign... <gasps> I forgot, my mid here is meant to be... Oh, equipped. Alright, so let's keep moving. And the thing I forgot about, you know this here that is kinda sitting in my town being awesome? I didn't give him... Show obsolete. I didn't give him my quivering circlet. Which is like the most important thing I meant to give him because it just gives him a flat out bonus to everything except food in my city. Which is huge. I really really want him to have that. In the future I have access to accessories which also increase the benefits of my governors. But this is a very powerful and nice one. So by all means... I'll spend dust and do this. Alright, you just say. Uh, now, there are some enemy sisters of mercy that will try to reinforce their sisters, which is fairly annoying. Maybe they will walk away, hopefully, but I don't think I'll be this lucky, unfortunately. Alright, then. Anything else I need to do? Well, this dust bishop is actually buyable, so. Buyoutable, or whatever. So I can do that. I could go for centers of four seas and rivers, but I'll much rather go for more dust bishops, because they are awesome, and I need them to reinforce my other armies. Also, they use, it, uh, use up a lot of uh, quicksand, not quicksand, how is it called? Quicksilver? No, glass steel, that's how it's called. But I can go for two more, so I'll obviously queue them up, because I obviously do want them to be on my side. Egonthin needs to have some more production, that's okay. And actually, the Sisters of Mercy worked away, which is very, very nice. Alright, I can go for my, another classic sector. Ex Ooh, I'm sorry. Except I don't know where to put it, so that's a little, a little bit of a bummer. Uh, my people are happy and they're not meant to be happy. So this is annoying. This is actually a bug I'm not supposed to be able to use. So what I'll do is see if I can make them unhappy. Actually content by going for even less happiness in this city. So I do want to expand with Barra Street. So let's go over there. This gives me no happiness, but it is a very nice anomaly in its own right. Mostly because of food, which I cannot benefit, but at the very least it does give me some other benefits either. And that being extra science. Plus one. So it's fairly bad on the way for Brock Loss, but it is a bonus. Now, if that doesn't resolve this issue, I'm actually going to destroy one of my improvements in a few moments. Uh, just because, uh, just to increase the cost of... Uh, because I'm gaining plus 15% industry. And in fact, this would be a, a little bit too harsh. I'm going to start working on Borough Streets, then stop working and start working again. So this will be a little bit of industry wasted. I think this will make up for the fact that... 
You know, I'm not supposed to have this much industry. Alright then, let us ban this village because I'm an evil even person. Attack. That's a lot of Justice Sears I'm going to lose. Holy Toledo. I didn't see this one coming. Now, if I go for Auto Battle, I'll lose def definitely. If I go for Manual, though, it might go both ways, honestly. Because Justice Sears, they look intimidating. And they, but they are support units. They're not infantry, so they're not especially beefy. And the special ability is granting the immunity to debuffs. I don't care about being immune to debuffs, thank you very much. So let us walk back. And I'll try to retreat to high ground as much as humanly possible. So that the enemy will have to attack me in uncomfortable areas. If you know what I mean. I actually don't know what I mean, so whatever. Alright, let's keep walking backwards. I don't even necessarily want to win this battle, I just want to draw yes, and kill as many of the enemy as possible while maintaining my guys uh, in operational form, aka keeping them alive. So this would be fairly beneficial, wouldn't it? And oh, this is beyond. Oh, beyond the parameters of the battle. Alright, so that is a problem. Alright, you walk over here and you are just going to stay here for the next two turns. And if I need you to move forward. Then you'll do just that. Then I'll change his behavior. I've got two turns, however. I don't think I'll need this guy on the front line. If I will need him later, then I'll change his behavior and make him replace one of my damaged guys. But I don't believe that this will actually be the case. So, just a series, I can just move forward. That's okay. I want to play for time. I want all of us to be damaged, but I don't want to lose any of my guys. Because keep in mind, I can use death to heal my army. The enemy cannot. So, you're going to move backwards. Everybody else is going to hold their ground on the high ground and should be relatively okay. <clears throat> now I'm also hoping I can give at least one of the enemy uh, stacks, so I can heal up while I'm doing so. And those guys will also attack from the low ground, so I should be fairly okay, I should be able to heal up if possible as well. And uh, I don't perceive this battle to be too much of a problem. In auto battle I will just flat out lose all my units, I have a stinging sensation that that's exactly what would have happened, but since I'm playing it smart in manual battle, holding my ground like the Spartans would, I think I'm fairly okay. Now my left flank looks to be the most vulnerable because it can be attacked from multiple areas, but my units were doing fairly okay thus far. Alright, so what I want to do is I want to move this guy backwards a little bit. Maybe this guy, because this guy can be attacked by more units. So you move backwards and you move slightly forwards to this tower. I think he'll move over here. I think he will not be a damage and move somewhere else. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. Alright then, let's see what the enemy is going to do. They are obviously going to focus on uh, my middle unit, which is slightly surprising. I'll focus on this unit with our AI. But keep in mind, AI is still very basic, so it can make some dumb errors like this. Fair in line, I wasn't able to kill the enemy unit to heal up, but again, things like that do sometimes happen. And right now I'm pulling a very nice spot over here. The enemy cannot break from my lines. I'm taking quite a bit of a beating, but it's okay. And seriously. Seriously, do you have to be this dumb? I mean, I guess I killed the enemy stack and healed the up as a result and also forced the enemy stack actually... No, that's bad because I allowed the enemy stack to attack somebody who's on the low ground instead of high ground. But then again, maybe I saved this stack from dying. So, ow, oh, that was not a very nice critical. No, all my units have died as a result. My lines are breaking apart and my units are not healing which is also mildly infuriating but i'm trying to do my best maybe now i'll kill up please suck some of the life yes all right so some of the life has returned to me very nice all right you fill this hole if possible if not then this will be fairly annoying you stay stand your ground and you also stand your ground in fact you know what no you move backwards because you're very badly damaged and i don't want you to die so if you survive this turn please just move back so there's that i'm trying to re, re What's the word for that? Re... I don't know. I'm trying to re something with my front lines and I'm doing so far okay. Those guys actually managed to survive this assault, which is very surprising. But now they will die, unfortunately. The enemy is almost dead, though. So I'm almost regretting the fact that I didn't tell, let those guys attack whoever they want. Because I could have won this battle. In fact, I got to win regardless. And that is the power of Star Wars. No other tier 1 stunning unit could have achieved what I just did, I'm pretty sure. Well, maybe the, the carry ranges could have, maybe. Either way, the enemy is dead, and no, I'll just get Palladium for this quest, for Kazanji. Annoying, I mean, Palladium is something I could use, I guess, in the future, when I discover how to use it, but 
That's not the word I was looking for. Anyway, pacification is going to be good enough. So, now I know for a fact, after the Watchtower, I will need to go for some better weapons and or armor. Since I already have access to some kind of advanced armor, I intended to go for weapons, but since I have no access to accessories at all, I'm going to go for them first, because they are just flat out more useful. So there is that, and after this little bit of entertainment, a bloodshed and whatnot, I am perfectly fine and is ending this video cast, because it's been long enough already. It was Panjosu, also known as the Mighty Mix Bar. If you so much to enjoy what you have seen, then please do leave a comment, leave a like, tell you what you liked, tell you what you didn't like, Thank you for watching and I'll see you online!